let's take a closer look. So once upon a time, this was a tropical paradise. And then a huge storm came and took over the entire tropical paradise. Now the storm is over, the coast is clear. So come and see the view from here. Hi everybody, welcome to the world of Micah. Today I am gonna be walking around and swimming at Disney's Typhoon Lagoon. You guys are gonna get to tag along. It's gonna be a splash of a time. Let's take a closer look. And as you guys see, things were left from the storm here. See, there's all kinds of stuff on this shack here. Now obviously, that is the Disney made up story about Typhoon Lagoon. They say a huge storm came in wreaking havoc on this tropical paradise and everything that's left from the storm was left for us here to enjoy it. And who would have thought Stitch would have came in from the storm? And the main focus of this water park is just like any other Disney park. You have the Chinese Theater, you have Spaceship Birth, you have Cinderella Castle, you have the Tree of Life. And here at Typhoon Lagoon, you have Miss Tilly on top of Mount Mayday right over there. And did you know this wave pool is one of the largest wave pools in the entire world. Who would have thought that a crazy storm would bring things that people would love to enjoy? I guess crazy things really can happen here at Walt Disney World. Now it's time to ride Miss Adventure Falls and our host is Captain Mary Oceaner. She's a collector and protector of deep sea antiques. So she collects uh, lots of things and, and during the queue you can find some of the things she collects as well as on the ride. Captain Mary and her parrot stowed for treasure hoping to share it. And as they were hauling their rich to the port, a typhoon struck and cut their trip short. I feel like Dr. Seuss. There's pieces of Mary Oceaneer's treasures that she's collected. Now I do love this ride and it's really cool to learn the backstory of an attraction before you ride it. Now you know there's a code for all the flags here in Typhoon Lagoon. I wonder what those flags spell out. It's kind of difficult to see a few of them because they've blown over the rope from the wind and her parrots must be taking a nap right now. Yep, you can hear him snoring. That's a bummer. Here we go. Look at this. Oh! Woo! <laughs> we got another tunnel to go into. Oh! Woo, those are fun. <laughs> they smack you right in the face. Oh, look at this. Oh. <laughs> That does not disappoint. Oh, that's awesome. They have a little photo pass person taking your photo at the very end. Did you guys know back in the day before the huge storm came, this is actually where they processed all the different kinds of fruit. And then when the storm came, basically destroyed it all. And now it's become a really cool slide that I enjoy. It's, it's a lot of fun. Crushing Gusher, <laughs> always the best. Things you only see at Typhoon Lagoon, a surfboard that got wedged in between the tree from the huge storm. I love stuff like that. One of the world's largest wave pools. Pretty awesome, and they actually do surf here. In the mornings, they have surfing lessons. And straight ahead, you can get a really good view of Miss Tilly and Mount Mayday. This is so awesome. Oh, here comes the wave. Oh my gosh, here it comes, you guys. I have no idea what's about to happen. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm so close, but it's gonna be rough. Oh no, here we go! Okay, that is awesome. It looks scarier than it is, but that is awesome. All right, one more time, but I'm gonna do it on selfie mode so you guys can see what it's like. You don't even know when it's coming. You don't even know when it's coming. I almost lost my glasses. Luckily, these are cheap sunglasses that I got for free. But holy cow. 
It seems like the further back you get, the stronger the waves are. Out over here at Hammerhead Fred's Dive Shop, which is now a bar where you used to pick up your snorkeling gear to go snorkeling, they've removed the walls. Now, when I used to come to Typhoon Lagoon, there was only one reason I came here, and that was basically to snorkel. I know it sounds crazy, but you could snorkel with freshwater fish. They had sharks in here, they had stingrays, they had all kinds of stuff, and they also had this huge submarine. And now the walls are completely removed and I can walk up to it and touch it again. When I used to snorkel, you'd start out over there and you snorkel all the way over here and get out. And the walls have been removed. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This used to be covered in water. I mean, like the, literally the water was all the way up. The only thing you could really see was about right there where my hand is, that was about water level. And as you guys can see, they've covered it up with rocks over here on this side, but man, this is so cool. You would have walked right up here, and as you see, they had the different lines. You would have come up to the water, sat down right here, got used to it, and snorkeled on this side, or on this side, all the way across. This is so incredible. Now also, you used to be able to go in the submarine. Actually, they had a little staircase that went down. And as you guys saw, the rocks were actually covering the staircase now. So this is all we have left right here of the old snorkeling experience. Get out, you can still see where it says no diving and caution right here. And there's a little bit of the red left on the lip where you used to go into the water. All this sand is literally covering where we used to snorkel. Very, very sad that I'll never be able to snorkel in this area ever again. At least I have this and the memories. Now I'm en route to ride the storm slides. I haven't done these in a while, but it reminds me of something you would have seen at like River Country. Oh, check it out. These guys were just married and their boat got stuck. Whew. Climbing up Mount Mayday is definitely a workout. But this is what we're working with right here. The storm slides. You literally are on a slide all throughout Mount Mayday. And this is what it looks like on top of Mount Mayday. It's pretty rad. You got Miss Tilly right up there. You can see the wave pool over here. Pretty awesome. I do say so myself. I'm ready to ride though. So interesting enough, it's supposed to have water come out of the top, but nothing seems to be happening. It, it did the sound effects and the horn and everything, just no water came out. It's kind of a bummer. I was hoping to see it from this angle. You know, this is a pretty good shot. Oh well. Oh yeah, Miss Tilly looks pretty awesome from up here. And the geysers are pretty rad looking too. All right, waiting for that green light. Woo, it's gonna be difficult holding the GoPro and laying flat on my back. Woo, all right. Oh man. Okay, it hurts your back a little bit. And... Okay, so hurts your back a little bit. Um, it's not so fast, but every time you go over these little breaks in the slide, it like scratches your back just a little bit. Not so painful, but I don't want to be in pain while I ride a slide. Does that make sense? Time to get into the lazy river. Like I always say, this is my favorite thing to do here at Typhoon Lagoon. Today is just a little extra busy. There's not really a whole lot of room to do a whole lot. You're just kind of going with the flow. Okay, now it's cleared up just a bit. But man, for a minute there, it was a little congested. Lots of people here today. All right, Typhoon Lagoon, until next time. Thanks for watching everybody. I had a blast today at Typhoon Lagoon. I hope you guys had fun watching and learning some of the backstory and history of this amazing water park here at Walt Disney World. If you would like to support World of Micah, please head over to worldofmicah.spreadshirt.com. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's free. It'll keep you updated with my latest video. I'll see you on the next episode of World of Micah, everybody. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye.